here. In today's tutorial, we're going to be going over how to create a new sales order. So in the top, we're going to select the Sales tab and select Sales Orders from the drop-down menu. This will then open up the Sales Order list where you can view any previously created sales orders. In the top left, we're going to select New and Yes. This will open up a new tab with a blank sales order where you can put in a customer, PO number, terms, or rep that are applicable to this sales order. So we're going to put in a customer of Test Test here and then this will assign a sales order number to this sales order. So you see this is SO10312. Now you can assign items to it by either SKU or item number. So if you know the exact SKU of the item, you can type it in here, or you can type in the first few letters or the entire name of the item that you want to apply and select it from the drop-down. The manufacturer will automatically be assigned to the item as long as it is in the master items list, where you can then select the condition, quantity, and price. So we're going to put in one $25 test manufactured by Razor and say plus to allocate it to the list. You can then select the manual allocate item where you will either select it from a list of serial numbers in the system or if you hit auto allocate it will pull one at random and attach it to the sales order for you. Now you can either go in the comments field and put anything that is important about the order, such as needing to be packed in a particular way or carefully handled, or go up to the top and select the pick list and then the printer that you want it to print to, and then select print pick list.